poker detox guys i don't know i've never heard of them and their ethos of literally throwing balance play out the window mass exploiting huge database tendencies um well um the thing is you should always play with like a good with good fundamentals. Uh, I think a lot of people misinterpret stats very heavily, even if they have big samples. So you should just play with solid fundamentals and then you can exploit as well. But uh, you should not only just spaz around because then you also have to like exactly know what you're doing. A lot of people don't. So then you end up end up actually exploiting yourself. Also, I mean, wh I don't know who these guys are, but why are none of them playing high stakes? Uh, why, I mean, probably not playing mid stakes or like higher mid stakes. I mean, if, if it works so well, why are they not doing that? You know, sure. I mean, they know obviously at higher stakes you can do it less, but I mean, they, if they still have tons of hands, it's way easier to data mine high stakes. So yeah, uh, even if, they make your, uh, if they're making smaller mistakes, they, surely they can still at least play high stakes. Why aren't they? Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's good to like have a good sample and like exploit, but uh, it's very easy to like, for instance, what you can do is like, what, I, what I've seen, um, I saw this, uh, I saw a hand where, I mean, um, I think it was one of the students, he showed me a hand where he open raised, deuce three offsuit blind versus blind or something like that, or king three offsuit blind versus blind because somebody had folded one out of one times to steals. I mean, that is completely irrelevant. And then... Uh, and then if you are opening that much and you say your opponent's too tight, that means that when you get to the flop, your range is going to be super wide and his is super tight. And then he was still range betting just because Pio said that with your regular range, you have to range bet. So, I mean, you may be exploiting because, oh, look at his uh, fold. So even if you have a higher, uh, if even if you have a bigger sample, but you actually also have to know what to do with that um, improvised range. And it's very, very difficult, very, very difficult to do. And I think that's probably where those guys are making mistakes.